Hi, my name's Kerry Badham, and today I'm going to show you how to make a birdhouse with the brand new More Than a Birdhouse Cutter by FMM Sugarcraft. As you can see from the photograph, I prepared my panels in advance. I've cut out two sections of panel one and I've applied a texture to them using impression set one. I've also used the small circle cutter from the geometric set to put a hole in the centre of one of panel one. I've cut out two sections of panel four and I've applied the bark texture to these as well and I've cut out three of panel three. Two for the roof, I've used the impression mat set one tiles to give a tile effect on two of them and the other one I've left blank. I've cut out a small bird using the child's play tappet set and I've cut out three blossoms using the blossom set of three. Allow the panels of your birdhouse to dry. We are now going to assemble your birdhouse. I'm going to start with panel one and panel four. I've used my upstand on my worktop as a support. As you can see, I've put a line of royal icing across the top of panel one and secured panel two on top, supporting it with the upstand. Once the first of the side panels has dried, I've repeated this process with the second side panel. Add some royal icing to the each side of panel one for the final part to attach to the three sides that you've already secured together with royal icing. Allow your birdhouse to dry. As you can see, I'm using my upstand again for support. Your birdhouse will now look like this. We are now going to attach the roof. Apply some royal icing to the top of your birdhouse on both sides. Place the roof panels on top and leave to dry. Apply some royal icing to the bottom of your birdhouse and attach to your final remaining panel. Attach your decorations with a little royal icing too. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the birdhouse tutorial using the FMM Sugarcraft More Than A Birdhouse Cutter.